Well, hello everyone. This is the 44th hired request on the 2017 list. Uh, the hired request list. It is Human by Rag and Bone Man. And I'd never heard this song. It's a very beautiful flowing piano arrangement. Let's hear some of it here. Does this? And so forth. Hello everyone, I'm Sean Cheek and welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. We're about to do the part one lesson here. All of the lessons for this beautiful piece are on my website, webpianoteacher.com. I don't have it written up there like I usually do, but it's webpianoteacher.com. And there's something on there for everybody, even if you are a complete beginner. Okay, this is not a beginner lesson. So if you're trying this and it goes too fast or it's too hard, that's because you're trying something that's too far above your level. All right, you want to start with beginner lessons. I have 50 beginner lessons on webpianoteacher.com. You just scroll down the main library list, scroll down alphabetically to the letter L. There are 50 lessons there. Get you started, give you a good foundation. And you can graduate to playing stuff like this. is in A flat minor and that's the key I was given for the YouTube video to do this off of. So again it is uh, Human My Rag and Bone Man and I think it says karaoke uh, lower key or something like that. But uh, this is what I was given so that's what we're doing here. And we will start with the, uh, let's look at the right hand, the melody. All right, and then the left hand is going to have a low A flat. So here's middle C. We're above middle C for the right hand melody. Left hand's way down here. So A flat. Now E flat with your two. So five, two. Then A flat with your thumb. Now I'm just going to use my thumb again on the B flat. I kind of had to guess on the fingerings and which hand plays which note because it gets in the middle here and you don't know uh, the performer what exactly uh, he or she did. And I'm just going to go thumb, thumb. Go slow enough where you can do that. And then the right hand will play B. Left hand will play B flat. And then the right hand has the last two notes. E flat, B, B natural. So it's da 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 Again. Notice I'm accenting certain notes. The A flat here. Uh, and the E flat here to bring out that melody. Then on the next measure that you can just hold the pedal down for the whole two measures there it'll work because it's all the same chord now the B natural there is really a C flat a lot of people have trouble thinking of C flat because it's like playing a B natural so I just put B natural just for the ease of knowing what the note is right, so next measure A flat in the right hand first you can see left hand will play next with a B flat on the thumb then the right hand will have two more notes E flat B flat with two one then right hand A flat, left hand B flat, right hand B flat, left hand B flat. Okay, so that measure is bop, 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 bop. And most of this is just straight 16th notes all the way through. See how I'm bringing out that top note? Da, da, da. There's lots of flowing notes in there, but if you'll bring out those melody notes by just playing them a little louder. Now the next measure continues with the A flat minor chord. This could have also be could have also been written in G sharp minor. I just chose flats just because I don't know that was felt uh, more right to me. So we're doing it in A flat minor. A flat because G sharp minor and A flat minor sound the same. Did you know that they're called inharmonic? One is just written with a bunch of sharps, and the other with a bunch of flats. So I chose the flats. It's going to sound the same regardless letters we write. So A flat on the right and then we'll have a B natural there. B natural again. E flat, A flat, B flat on the fifth finger, A flat, E flat, B. The G flat in parentheses we'll talk about in a minute. But you can just stay in this one place. You have it all, right? Just stay in that one place. You don't have to move around a lot yet. Left hand, A flat, E flat, A flat, then the B flat with the thumb thumb. So we're used to that. Some more B flat. That's it for that measure. Let's do it really slow. See, 
I bring out the A flat, B flat, A flat, E flat, because that's the melody. Again. Okay. You might got kind of, you might get a little lost here and there by which hand is playing at which which time. Just play it really slowly and make sure you're doing everything in order at the right time. And so that'll work. Uh, that goes two times, that measure. See the two there? Just kind of save space on the board. Kind of simplifies things for you if you know. Just play the same measure twice. So we do it once. Twice. And that's the first two times. Now, let's tie some of this together. Let's start at the beginning and then add on that next two measures. Here we go. And go. That's enough for this part one. We'll we'll keep going in part two and finish the rest of this line. Part three, we'll do the rest of this. There's a, a whole page of this and then another page that uh, we'll look at on webpianoteacher.com. So I hope you guys enjoyed that part one. I'll talk to you later.